गाइस माय नेम इज अंकुश गौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी लर्न अबाउट रिस्पॉन्स एंटिटी कॉन्सेप्ट सो वॉट वी लर्न ओवरऑल इफ यू यूज रिस्पॉन्स एंटिटी एज अ रिटर्न टाइप विद एनी रेस्ट ए पी आई कंट्रोलर मैथड देन यू आर सिंपली अलोइंग दैट कंट्रोलर मैथड टू बी एबल टू स्पेसिफाई रिस्पॉन्स बॉडी एंड स्टेटस विद इन इट सो आफ्टर इंक्लूडिंग रिस्पॉन्स एंटिटी एज रिटर्न टाइप एंड दिस स्टेटमेंट इन द प्रीवियस टूटोरियल नाउ वेन आई एम गोइंग टू मेक पुट रिक्वेस्ट ऑन दिस रेस्ट ए पी आई विद दिस इंफॉर्मेशन आई वुड गेट दिस रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम द सर्वर with this response body and this status exactly what i have specified over here as first argument and second argument to this response entity constructor and whatever i've just described in a very brief manner i explained in detail in the previous tutorial now let's proceed further and try to understand in this tutorial the concept of uh, http response headers and uh, how to send your own customized headers to the client from within this rest api controller method so let's start guys if we look at the overall response what server has sent to me for this request i would find that it has sent me body status as well as some bunch of key value pairs under this header stack now what are these key value pairs in general developers call these key value pairs as http response headers so question is what are these key value pairs and uh, why a server has sent uh, you know these uh, key value pairs to me for this request in the response and the answer is these key value pairs simply describes the overall response message in a more appropriate manner let me explain you the importance of uh, these key value pairs by explaining these one by one after looking at the value of content type key a client would be able to understand in what format response body has come to it it's in json format xml format or in some other format well by looking at it client is sure of one thing that a uh, response body is actually in its xml format see so in whatever format response body has been sent to the client that's going to be described by this key value pair this second key value pair simply describes at what date and timing this response was produced by the server this third one simply talks about what kind of web server has produced this response and this last one simply talks about what kind of encoding technique has been used to transfer this response from server to the client so these key value pairs simply provide some extra information to the client you know about the overall response and nothing more than that now the point is these are not the only http headers what a server might send to the client along with the response there are so many http response headers available some of the important ones are listed on the screen along with their meaning so for this request by default this server has sent me these four key value pairs now in different circumstances and situations your server may decide to you know include an appropriate uh, http header or headers along with the response message now as an application developer what if you want to add you know your own customized http header along with the response from within this rest api controller method you don't want to depend on the server to you know choose an appropriate uh, http header and include the same within the response message you want to have a control over it you want to specify a response http header from within this rest api controller method so how to achieve that well that's kind of very easy to achieve guys all you need to do is to create an object of uh, http headers class and then go on specifying all key value pairs what you want to send along with the response message over here say you want to add this key and 
this value so you want to add one more key value pair in the response now only thing that's remaining is to pass this uh, object reference as the second argument to the response entity constructor that's all about it guys so after this change now what's going to happen these customized http headers would also be sent by the server in the response to the client when any user is going to make a request for this rest api controller method let me show you cool so here in addition to these default key value pairs server has now sent these customized http headers what we specified over here so overall concept is guys when you pass only one argument to response entity constructor it uh, considers that argument as http status to be sent to the client in the response and when you pass two arguments it considers first argument as response body and second as response status and when you pass three arguments to it it considers first as a response body second as http headers and third one as response http status so after this uh, you know change now we are able to send our own customized response headers to the client along with the response in the next tutorial i would talk about how to be able to develop a rest api which demands post kind of request to be made on it all right guys a big thank you for learning rest api concepts using spring mvc framework with me if you have any feedback or any constructive comment or you want me to upload a video on a very specific topic in this series or you want me to upload a brand new series on this channel gone to series do post me a comment below the video or write to me on this email id for all of your queries please like this video share this video if it has proved useful to you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel gone to series and i'm gonna catch you in the next part of this tutorial